from around the globe. It's the Cube with digital coverage of Veeam on 2020. Brought to you by Veeam. Hi everybody, this is Dave Vellante. We're here with a preview of Veeam on 2020. Danny Allen, CTO of Veeam. Danny, I wish we were face to face, man, but great to see you online. Great to see you as well. This is the next best thing, right? It is, I mean, you know, Veeam on has been a great conference for the last several years we've attended with theCUBE, but let's, let's get into it. You know, COVID-19 obviously shifts to, to virtual, but there's a lot of things going on, I'm sure in your business, a lot of talk about business resiliency. How has the pandemic sort of affected Veeam and how you're managing the business? Well, it certainly impacted the entire industry. And actually one of the interesting things that has happened, of course, is that used to get on an airplane, fly to the customer, shake their hand and close a deal. That obviously isn't happening. Um, that's the external side of it. The internal side of it is, you know, everyone went into an office. We had a culture, especially in inside sales and support uh, of people going into offices and obviously we had to close them. So the downside is, is we lose some of that model that we've had in the past. But the upside, the bright side of this is we've been doing fantastic. In fact, the numbers that we have achieved are the same as if COVID-19 hadn't hit. Now I attribute that to a few different things. Uh, one is that you know, we have a broad spectrum of customers, 375,000 across all segments, across all industries. And while it's still early in the year, who knows what's going to happen, what I can say is that from a business results standpoint, it's been good. From a product strategy standpoint, which is where I sit, of course, it's it's actually been better than good because we actually have the opportunity to focus a little bit more perhaps than we have in the past to speaking to customers and delivering on things that, that are harder to do when you're on airplanes all the time. Well, I mean, we've been reporting on theCUBE that it's really a story of the haves and the have nots. I mean, my takeaway there is <laughs> had it not been for COVID-19, maybe, maybe the numbers would even be higher. At the same time though, <laughs> The whole, like I said, business resiliency, work from home, people really thinking about data protection has really come, come to the fore. So some of the other trends obviously that are tailwinds, cloud, data, the whole notion of multi-cloud, I'm sure we're going to hear a lot about this at uh, Veeam on virtual. Yeah, so as you know, our, our objective is to be the most trusted provider of backup solutions that deliver cloud data management. And so there's a big focus on cloud where we certainly think of cloud, of course, as the big three hyperscalers of AWS, Azure, and uh, Google. And you're going to hear announcements about all three of those and products that continue to enhance our capabilities there. But it's also our partners. We have in our, in our virtual solutions lab, we actually have 30 partners there, but we have a huge um, stable, if you will, or, or partner ecosystem of Veeam cloud service providers. And we're excited that they're going to be there as well and we're highlighting some of their innovations. Yeah, I mean, I, we're dropping a breaking analysis this week on cloud. All three of those cloud suppliers, suppliers you mentioned have a lot of momentum behind you know, their businesses right now. Uh, it's cloud is, I mean, the uh, pandemics, not pandemics, but downturns have always been good to cloud. And I think this is no, no change. So tell, give us a little you know, glimpse as to what we're going to hear from a product standpoint at Veeam on 2020. Well, a few different exciting things. In the past, as you know, we launched Veeam Backup for uh, AWS. That was our first cloud native solution. We just recently launched Veeam Backup for Microsoft Azure. And you're going to see iterations on those products demoed live on stage by the legendary uh, Anton Gostev and, and always the fan favorite, Rick Vanover. So you're going to see demos of those. You're also going to see the first foray into partnerships with Google as well, Google Cloud Platform. If you combine all those hyperscalers right now, they did uh, I think a little over 67 billion last year in 2019, and obviously the, the compound annual growth rate is projected to go to 375 billion. So we're going to highlight some of the capabilities that we've introduced in the last few months and over the rest of 2020 with them. Well, and you're right. I mean, we, we just reported, we just saw you know, first quarter earnings reports you got AWS as a $38 billion business growing in the mid thirties. You got you know, Azure and Google growing faster from a, from a smaller base, but still enormous, many, many billions. You also have uh, hands-on labs. It's, there's two days, June 17th and June 18th. So you know, check it out, go sign up. But you've got hands-on labs that you're bringing to the virtual experience. Yeah, so we're doing 20 breakout sessions, 10 live 
sessions, and that's exciting. But actually, for the first time, and it was based on demand, we're doing what we call a VMathon. And that's going to bring 20 to 30 live sessions where actually users can come and collaborate live with the experts. And one of the things about a virtual event, of course, is that this opens it up to globally for people to come and register for free, but they can actually interact on an ongoing basis over those two days with the experts from Beam. So while some people are disappointed that we can't be there face to face, we're still going to have the legendary party, but it, we're also doing some of these VMathons and live interactions, which is a new opportunity for us. I, I think it's exciting. Well, you better make sure you have your auto scaling on, Danny. <laughs> I've seen a lot, some of these virtual conferences get so many people. We just saw one on Twitter where there's there so much demand, it went down. I'm sure you guys got your infrastructure together. So uh, bring us home. You know, why should I attend Veeam on 2020? Well, everyone knows Veeam for its high energy, its exciting conferences, lots of announcements. We have uh, partners there with us on stage. This is taking it to the next level. We're taking that same conference that is exciting, lots of energy. We're doing it online, which brings it to a global market. And we're not decreasing the energy. In fact, we're still having that legendary party. We're still doing all those massive announcements. And so this just is a, is a next generation, I would argue, of where the industry is going. We're excited to be there with our partners. So very exciting time for Veeam. Blockbuster acquisition in January. Congratulations, Danny, to, to you, and very excited for, for Veeam on. Uh, check it out, June 17th and 18th, a great thing. Typical Veeam, right? It just works. You go there, it's not like a huge exam. There's just a few things you got to enter, email and a couple other things, boom. Registration is simple. Danny, thanks so much for helping us with this preview. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much, Dave. Always a pleasure and happy to speak with you. All right, stay safe, everybody. This is Dave Vellante for theCUBE. We'll see you next time.